In SSS, or side, 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 congruency of triangles, we are looking for triangles that have three identical sides. Here I have two triangles. They are identical, or we should say they appear to be identical, but there's two ways they can show us this. They may indicate it by putting these little lines in both of the triangles. This means that the corresponding ones, the ones with a single mark, both match, the ones with two marks, both match, and the ones with three marks, both match. Another way they may do it is by just simply telling you the lengths of the sides. For example, if they said this side is seven, this is eight, and this is 12, and they tell you that these sides are seven, eight, and 12, you would know that they have the same lengths on these three sides and that they are congruent. One thing to look out for is not to be confused if the triangle is rotated. Now, let's see if this will let me rotate it. There we go. So if I were to rotate this, but I still am told, I still see corresponding marks on each side, ones, twos, and threes, or as we saw previously, if we had those numbers, so here's seven, eight, and 12. I was told this is seven, eight, and 12. It doesn't matter if they are not in the same side looking at it in space. <laughs> the fact that it has been rotated doesn't matter. It is still congruent. It's the same identical triangle. It's just been rotated because all three sides are the same. Therefore, they are congruent by side, side, side congruency. If you would like a more in-depth explanation for why and how this works, as well as some full examples, please click on the long form video linked in the description below. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.